Praise the Lord. Hey, this is Pastor Ronnie D. Simmons, Pastor of House of Faith Christian Center, located in beautiful Springfield, Tennessee. And I tell you, listen, I just finished an awesome word uh, concerning our subject about uh, uh, factors, uh, experiencing God's uh, favor through answered prayers. Uh, again, and this is part four, and you want to make sure you go back and, and get the previous messages that we've had on this. And so, because it's based on John chapter 15, verse 7. And this is what Jesus says. Jesus says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be given to you. So we've been talking about this abiding in Jesus. What it means? It means to abide in how much he loved us. Abide in his love. He loved us on the cross. And also it means to abide what's it, in who he is, what he said, what he taught, what he commanded, and what he did for us on the cross. That's abiding in Jesus. And he says, also, my words have to abide in you. What is his words? His words is the words he got directly from the Father. And whenever Jesus got words from the Father, he shared that with us. And he got results. And so when Jesus' words abide in us, then we can get those results as well. So we must have a higher appreciation for the words of Jesus. Those words in red, those words that the apostles talked about, the words that, uh, again, in, in the epistles, those words of Jesus are paramount. Why? Because they're connection for you getting your prayers answered. And so that's so important. And so today, uh, we just went on to talk a little bit more about uh, getting our prayers answered. And we said that there are some uh, uh, factors, uh, keys. And number one, we said we must have a confidence, listen, that the Father hears and answers our prayers. And that word confident means an assurance. It means a boldness. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, he says, you know, when you come to the throne of grace, come boldly for the throne the grace that you may obtain mercy and find help in time of need so there's a, such a confidence that you have uh, when you come before the throne of grace and you can ask what what we're going to ask i'm going to ask what i will why because i'm abiding jesus and his words abiding us and jesus said we can ask so we have to have that confidence and the other thing that we talked about is that when our prayer is being answered it brings glory to the father now, I'm going to share something with you that this, you may have never heard this before, but I'm going to share it with you maybe for the first time. And some of you may have heard this. But did you know, listen, the Father really wants you to get your prayers answered even more than you do? Why? Because it brings him glory. What is his glory? His glory is his goodness. His glory is his grace. His glory is his compassion. His glory is his mercy. And so what happens is when God comes through and answers your prayers, it makes him look good. Praise the Lord. And so God wants to look good all the time. But also, here's some things also concerning the glory of the Father, is that uh, the Father is glorified when we bear fruit. That's what John chapter 15, verse 8, you bear much fruit that I'll be glorified. And then we said, what is this fruit? That, that the fruit that we will produce and also remain. Here it is. You ready for this? According to John chapter 15, verse 16, the fruit is he has chosen us and we didn't choose him. So we remind the Father all the time, Father, I thank you. You've chosen me that I didn't choose you. So you chose me to abide in you. You chose me to let your words abide in me. You chose me that I can ask what I will and it shall be given unto me. See, you chose me, Father. And so therefore, I put you in remembrance that you chose me. So whatever challenges, whatever struggles, whatever hardships I go through, I can say, Father, you chose me. So therefore, Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that, listen, when I ask, it'll be given. When I seek, I'll find. When I knock, it'll be open to me. And I believe you have chosen me in the name of Jesus. Pray Praise the Lord. So listen, I pray that you hope you have enjoyed that word that is truly has blessed you about getting God not only wants to, to hear your prayers, but you also want to answer your prayers. But again, John 15, 7 says, if my words abide in you and you abide in me, then you can ask what you will and shall be given to you. So again, uh, Pastor Ronnie D. Simmons, and again, I want to invite you to come to House of Faith Christian Center. We're located at 2001 Montmo Boulevard in beautiful Smyrna, Tennessee. Our worship service begins every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock a.m., preceded by corporate prayer at 8.30, and we would love to have you come and worship with us. In case you just can't come, then you can always, again, tune in to our Facebook Live every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Praise the Lord be a blessing. So again, I'm Pastor Ronnie D. Simmons, Pastor of House of Faith Christian Center, and Pastor of Faith Christian Center, we have a threefold vision that is to exalt the Savior, equip the saints, and evangelize the sinner. House of Faith Christian Center, we have five purposes. They are evangelism, worship, fellowship, discipleship, and ministry. House of Faith Christian Center, we are a minister of excellence, effectiveness, and encouragement. 
Again, I'm Pastor Ronnie D. Simmons, Pastor of House of Faith Christian Center, and I want to leave you these familiar words. Remember Jesus, Lord, and continue to show compassion in your action, and we'll see you next time. God bless you, and have a great day.